I'm CM Coleman. Welcome to my home. Today we are making mead. Now some of you are asking what is mead? Mead is a honey wine or a honey ale. I really consider it more of a honey wine. It is very easy to make. Doesn't call for any special ingredients. In fact, if you have just regular yeast, which is what I'm going to be using, you can use that. Uh, all the ingredients are so simple to find. You just have to take some time. Now it does take some special equipment and we'll talk about that as we go. Now what's going to be interesting about this is going to be the fact that you're going to see this locate this set sort of change because it takes a little while to make it. Today we do the first step of it, uh, which is we're going to boil it and uh, also add uh, put it into a container. Now, what do you need for this that's really special? Not a whole lot, except for some equipment. You need a non-reactive pan. This is an enamel-lined pan. You're also going to need then a large vessel. I'm going to use this, which is not as, which is way bigger than what I need, but you'll see that in a little bit. And then you also need, oh, I'll show you all that stuff later on. But let's start off with the simple stuff, okay? I have four pounds of honey, this is actually five, uh, two cinnamon sticks, this is six whole cloves. I used to make this with just one lemon. I have to now make it with two because my lemons are really small. You want to juice the lemons, make sure that the seeds are out, and then throw the rest of the lemon in. Don't be horribly upset if you didn't get all the seeds out because this does get strained again. Now I'm going to take one gallon of water and then my four pounds of honey. Once you've done this a lot, you get used to estimating how much is four pounds. I'm going to take this over to the stove, then bring it up to a boil and let it boil for 30 minutes. Remember as you are boiling your mead to mix it every once in a while because it's going to boil for 30 minutes. Once it's boiled for 30 minutes, I'm going to cool it completely so that that way it is room temperature. While our mixture is cooling, I'm going to take a quarter of a cup of warm water and add one teaspoon of regular yeast. Sprinkle that on top. I'm going to give it a little mix. Then we're going to let this sit for five to ten minutes. I usually let it go for ten minutes until it's nice and foaming. All right, our mixture has cooled, and I'm going to do this in two, you're not going to see all of this, but I have a big container. This is a big glass jar. It does not need to be this big. I'm using this because this is what I have. Originally, this funnel had a filter in it. It disappeared recently, so I'm going to just take my mixture, get as close as I can to this. and just funnel it into the container. It is that easy. Now that our mixture is in our container, I'm going to take our wonderful yeast mixture and pour that in there. There we go. Give that a nice little stir around. Now there are a couple things that you can do now. This is the easiest one. The easiest one is to put a balloon over the top of this and then just sit it in a nice warm place until it stops expanding the balloon. Or you can put one of these contraptions over here. What this does is it's really cool. I'll fill it up with water. There's a fill line on there. I'll put it on top and place the cap on. What that does is as the yeast starts interacting with the uh, sugar in here, it will raise up and down, which will show me that it's actually breathing. It's really doing well. Now I'm going to put this in a nice warm, well, room temperature place so that I don't have to worry about it at all and then let this sit for probably about a month until it stops actually uh, raising up and down. Now if you do the balloon method, you're going to do it until the balloon stops inflating. Makes sense. Uh, once that has happened, we will then, well, do the next part. So let's just put this away for its next month and I'll come back. 
All right, our mead has really slowed down on bubbling, which means it's still fermenting. But if you look carefully, you can see that it is still bubbling. It'll come up every once in a while. That means that it is still in the fermenting stage, so it's not done yet. What I would do now is I would put this back and let this keep going until this absolutely stops fermenting. Why do you have to do that? Because when you put it into its container, say something like this, this is mead, uh, you will not, this will eventually explode because these containers are not meant to you have this. Now, if you use a different kind of container, say like a beer bottle, beer bottles, those sort of things, those were meant to have carbon in them. However, uh, this is not a carbonated beverage. This is a wine. So what you do is you just let this keep going. So we are going to let this go for a little bit longer. Our mead is now done, and you can see how much clearer it is now. Once it's clear, it is ready to go, and you notice that my stopper is no longer bobbing up and down because the yeast is done. I'll remove that. Now, this handy contraption. If you do not have this, this is a siphon. This is the most wonderful thing I have found when it comes to making beer, wine, kabucha, that sort of stuff, simply because I can put it into my sterilized jars. These are sterilized, remember that. I can put it in there and then down. And now I can pump out the liquid into the bottles without getting much of the sediment in there. Once it's bottled, you can see that this, the first bottle, is amazingly clear. The second bottle, you get a little bit more sediment. This is your primary bottle. This is the really good stuff. Hold that for the special occasions. Secondary, this is my third bottle, and it has some sediment in it, which really is just the yeast. Now, you would normally let this sit for about 30 days, but we're going to go ahead and try it, because it, you can have it right away. Let's give it a taste. It is a nice, smooth, and sweet wine. It is a honey wine, not an ale. It is a honey wine. Tastes like honey wine. It is very good, pretty strong, and it didn't really take that much work. All the equipment is listed down in the description. You can go ahead and order it. It goes to my Amazon affiliate site. Make this. It is so good, so wonderful. Remember to sterilize all of your equipment. Really easy to make. Now, if you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Don't forget to subscribe. Every Thursday is a cocktail, and this one is so special because you can make your own honey wine mead out of ingredients that you can get very easily. It is so good and so wonderful. Don't forget to like and share this, and I hope I get to see you again next time. Cheers!